All right, I guess it's uh, time to start uh, this webinar. The topic of the webinar is on your liquidity and hedge market risk like a boss with Marksman. So thank you very much for joining me for this uh, event. And uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Neon Greenberg. I'm a product manager with the uh, Bitter Broker Company, a leading technology and liquidity provider. And um, by the end of this webinar, I hope that all of us will be able to completely dominate the topic of liquidity and the market risk hedging. So um, let's start. All right, so uh, getting liquidity. And I would like to specify that we'll be talking about uh, mostly uh, crypto liquidity and uh, crypto fiat liquidity, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to end there because there is a lot of, uh, lot of trading instruments available, metals and uh, uh, tokenized uh, uh, stocks and uh, whatnot. But the most important part is that traders expect great liquidity. And um, uh, there are several types of trading platforms such as exchange platform based on matching engine where uh, people exchange assets um, one user to another. And there are uh, platform brokerage platforms that uh, a broker as a counterparty allows uh, the users of this platform some exposure to, to, to market uh, price movements against a collateral against the margin. And uh, those, we, we, we'll, we'll be talking about the, the owners and operators of uh, uh, such uh, plot trading platforms. And um, basically, they all want great liquidity, tight spreads, uh, great um, execution quality, uh, fill volumes, um, round uh, root time, uh, shorter root time, and, and less slippage. And um, when we're talking about the liquidity, then uh, all type of platforms, they um, face similar challenges of providing liquidity for the trading community and so they were able to get a great user experience. So there are several ways to provide liquidity and there is a QR code to a um, comparison page that uh, discuss this topic at a great length. So to save you time, let's, let's just hop over some um, ways to provide liquidity. First of all, and it's a holy, holy grail of the, of, of, of the trading, is the organic liquidity. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the best liquidity for uh, exchange platform because a lot of people come and place their orders and uh, form the order book. And uh, therefore, everything, everyone trades with everyone, everyone else. And, um, the risk of the um, owner of this exchange is actually minimal because, I mean, the, the market risk at least. Okay, so because basically users exchange um, assets one against another. But uh, organic liquidity is hard, uh, is hard thing to get because, you know, you need a lot of users, you need that, uh, the, uh, that those users trade in uh, a few dozen or a few hundred of, of uh, um, assets that uh, you know present present on on your exchange platform. Therefore, um, normal ways up until today, and and uh, most people do it actually, that invite some market makers. So market makers they actually solve uh, this problem for you and they provide liquidity in a, within the specified parameters. However, this 
type of uh, type of service is uh, rather expensive, and um, the um, risk profile of the market maker they, they may not uh, you know align with your with your uh, notion of the of the of, of the risk. Okay, so uh, sometimes what you see is that you invite market makers and then suddenly in certain uh, uh, volatility, uh, then the volatility hits the market, uh, suddenly the spreads uh, uh, widen and, and your users start, start complaining. And therefore, it's, uh, it, it doesn't come with the, um, the, the just, you know, just the benefits. There are some drawbacks uh, to market maker services. So you can, uh, you know, just, make another step and uh, decide that market makers are too expensive. They don't provide you what you want. So you go ahead and uh, write a few scripts and uh, connect and make an ad hoc, ad hoc connection to a single liquidity provider or a couple of liquidity providers. And, and, and that sort of solves your problem because yeah, it doesn't cost you, it doesn't cost you money. You can get the uh, uh, level two quotes from a liquidity provider. You, you can maintain uh, the local order book on your platform and uh, everything, everything uh, is good. And uh, you, you sort of can hedge your market risk uh, using such an ad hoc connection. But it does, it does have some drawbacks as well because um, sometimes, uh, your liquidity provider can go to maintenance and what you are going to do with the users that would like to trade, but they can because the price feed is absent. Or sometimes um, um, other, other things happen, uh, network, uh, network failures and um, uh, some, some uh, data related issues. Therefore, such a way it is, a, it, 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 and it's not it's not really cheap because you have to develop and maintain the 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 script or or a, an application that allows you this 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 uh, connection. Therefore, um, the the one of the solution one of the ways to provide liquidity is to use a liquidity hub. And since I'm biased, then I would like to tell you about how. Uh, liquidity hub does it because once you once you uh, develop this ad hoc connection to a single P, you would like to add a, a, a different uh, liquidity provider. You would like to manage your your uh, market parameters. Therefore, you have to you know think big and and develop a, a really um, a complex platform. And therefore, we're just going ahead and develop it uh, for you. So let's take a look at what Liquidity Hub is and does. First of all, it does a price discovery. It has a price discovery engine that can connect to dif different uh, um, sources of quotes, level two quotes, and um, uh, they can they uh, uh, they can discover uh, top of the book prices and full market depth prices for any assets that are traded on the on the global market okay and in order to do it we are we are we are using a different um, um, crypto exchange platforms and and other types of liquidity providers and uh, market data aggregators for some instances and uh, we use different um, apis we use fixed protocol, we use different APIs in order to uh, connect with all those uh, liquidity providers, trading platforms, um, whatever, wherever uh, the asset is traded, we can uh, connect to this uh, uh, trading venue and uh, discover the, the, the current price of any assets. So uh, there are, different adapters that involve in this in this platform and um, you can get the any, any, any type of 
type of quotes for any assets available. So what's next? Uh, the next thing is that you would like probably to uh, um, handle your, your local order book in, in, some, in some manner. For instance, you would like to apply some markups on the on the uh, order book because it, it, because it, it it allows you to manage uh, market risk or uh, otherwise you can you can experiment with with uh, tighter spreads and uh, uh, attract the users to a platform. So you 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 would like to apply some market uh, markups. Um, you would like to uh, manage the order book depth because as I mentioned. You're connecting to different liquidity providers, and uh, uh, sometimes they, uh, pro they they provide you quotes for um, a hundred uh, de deep uh, uh, price levels, or sometimes it's five thousand. So, and and you know your platform may may support a different different uh, number of uh, of price levels and different. Uh, uh, um, market depth. So you would like to handle the, the order book depth. You'd like to uh, handle the, the decimal precision of, of the instruments because sometimes it's five digits, uh, most of the time it's eight digits, and um, maybe in, in the future it will be it will something different. So you'd like to aggregate this market data from different sources and uh, manage the decimal pre precision. Um, I did mention that order book depth, not in, term, uh, in terms of price level at least, okay? Um, it may be different for different platforms. As I mentioned, some support a few thousand, some a few hundred, and uh, some platforms support a few dozen of, of uh, um, price levels in their order book. Therefore, um, sometimes you would like to manage the, 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 the volume of the, yeah, uh, uh, so, so, sometimes you would like to manage the, the volume that you provide at each price level. And uh, that's, that's, that's what volume modifier does. And of course, there is, the, there is a matter of a symbol maybe. It's extremely useful uh, feature. And uh, not not only for not only for uh, um, some cases, then on one platform Bitcoin is BDC and on another is XBT. Okay, it's it's the simple thing. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of um, uses for this symbol mapping. For instance, you can you can allow uh, trading uh, a certain symbol. To one of uh, uh, to one group of your users uh, with uh, uh, as some set of parameters, and to another group of your users with another set of parameters. Therefore, you can apply symbol mapping and apply different uh, price construction parameters to your local order book. So, what's next? Of course. Uh, a part of uh, a large part of the price construction is the ability to uh, create synthetic instruments. It means synthetic crosses. Uh, for instance, um, you would like to quote uh, Bitcoin and local currencies such as Indian rupee or, or, or whatnot. Sometimes you would like to you would like to offer a, a, a different pair quoted in, 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 in a different cryptocurrency that is not available on the market. So you can combine whatever um, um, quotes that are available and, and get the, the synthetic instruments. Um, you can uh, uh, trade in fractional, fr fractional instruments, etc. So uh, whatever you, 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 you think that your your uh, users on your platform will, will, will would like to trade. You can um, uh, engineer it via uh, synthetic engine on the liquidity hub. So once we've we've uh, created a unique order book on your platform, on actually on on the liquidity hub, 
um, then it's time to distribute it to a target platform. Um, it may be, a, again, exchange platform or broker platform. And um, in the liquidity distribution, uh, it is important to distinguish two, two, two types of integrations. The maker integration, it means that a maker, a maker platform, uh, provide, uh, streams to the liquidity hub uh, uh, quotes, a price feed. <clears throat> then um, liquidity hub applies some um, price construction parameters on the on this order book uh, in accordance with the the, the uh, wishes of the of, 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 the, of the maker or, or a taker and then this price feed is is being uh, is uh, streamed to the uh, taker platform on the taker platform user trade against this liquid against this order book and then the uh, results of such trade it depends on the on the on the model, but the results of such trades may be uh, delivered to the um, liquidity hub and then executed those trades on the on the maker platform. That's the maker integration. The take integra take integration is uh, the other way around. Taker receives the price feeds and sends the. Um, and sends the result of the trades on the on its platform on the uh, to, to to the liquidity hub and and on to the maker for for execution, and it is it is quite flexible because you can uh, from 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 a maker you can provide a quotes for for uh, you know metals or 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 fiat currencies to the <clears throat> To the liquidity hub, and then the liquidity hub uh, put it through the synthetic engine, and uh, for instance, receive a quote for for crypto crypto assets from a different source, and creates those those uh, synthetic uh, uh, synthetic crosses um, uh, quoted in a local currency or or. Uh, use uh, that uses the uh, metals as a, as as a base or or or, or quad, uh, um assets for a newly formed synthetic pair. So um, <clears throat> and then a uh, uh, liquidity hub can connect to this to this uh, to, to this maker, and so the the the, the this maker that provided the metals or, or or fiat pairs to the liquidity hub it can receive as a taker the newly formed uh, synthetic crosses and uh, and 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 the provided further on to the to the taker platforms in a new or 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 uh, to the trading platforms that it serves so it it's uh, it can be a very flexible um, right now um, as, uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, integration with uh, a number of uh, um, platforms that use WebSocket or REST or, or Fix API, and also with the uh, major um, uh, liquidity hubs. And uh, as, as an example there, you can see a beta trader, which is an exchange platform. So, um, you know any platform, whether it's uh, um, exchange or or a brokerage, can be connected to Liquidity Hub in both in both uh, uh, you know in both roles as both as a maker to supply the liquidity that happens on the platform to other takers or as a taker, so they can get this liquidity, allow the uh, the traders use it for for trading purposes and then hedge some uh, market risk yeah i uh, yeah i would like to men mention that i'll uh, i'll just continue with the presentation and i'll answer the questions later i'll uh, uh, leave some time to it all right so <clears throat> 
so we are getting to risk hedging, and first of all, we would like to we would like I, I would like to you know discuss this notion uh, a bit further. So let's say you are running an exchange platform, and as I said, the uh, users actually they exchange assets one against the other, and uh, such a platform in terms of uh, market risk doesn't doesn't actually have any. And it's it would be true if this is if it was purely organic liquidity, or uh, you have invited market maker, and your arrangement is that market maker takes all the risks. However, uh, then you use a um, different sources of liquidity, such as such as liquidity hub. It means that um, actually. Traders on your platform, they trade against your order book, the order book that you supply. Therefore, with each trade, unless they are netted against, against each other, with each trade, you may um, get the, some market risk. And uh, you have a choice. You can internalize it and uh, maybe eventually in certain conditions risk, uh, uh, you know, insolvency. insolvency. Or I think that better approach is to hedge uh, your market risk um, to a certain extent, to, 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 to the extent that your hedging policy is, is, is considered, your, your risk management is, uh, um, is considering a safe, a safe uh, level. So risk hedging, that means that uh, trader, uh, execute a trade against your order book if you are exchanged, then you have you are accepting on yourself some market risk and then you have to hedge it. And a liquidity hub it it exactly allows you to do it. It, it allows you to hedge your your trade automatically and it um, <clears throat> provides you with the quite flexible configuration of uh, hedging parameters such as hedge ratio. You can hedge uh, uh, the, your market risk at each transaction automatically and apply uh, anywhere from uh, zero to 100% of hedge ratio. And actually, it's beyond because uh, if you wish to over hedge, you can do it and, uh, you know, 120%. Why not? And this hedge ratio is <clears throat> configurable by symbol. You can, you can assign a um, certain hedge ratio to one symbol, and then uh, uh, some other hedge ratio to another symbol. You can uh, uh, set some rules for for uh, platforms that you use for hedging for those makers, okay? Maker platform, liquidity providers. And um, you can even uh, configure it by user account. So uh, you can... Uh, set up your own uh, hedge order types time and force whatever you you wish to be to, to, to be in your hedging orders uh you can map uh you can you can hedge uh one uh, trading instrument with another trading instrument for instance let's say you your platform is trading in uh, crypto fiat pairs uh, pairs okay and uh, the hedging platform it doesn't have uh, those 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 fiat uh, th those pairs uh, th those assets quoted in the uh, fiat currencies, but it does have uh, same assets quoted in stablecoin. And if you believe that uh, the peg will remain, then it will be easier for you to hedge uh, crypto fiat pair to a crypto crypto pair. Maybe it's, it's cheaper. And as far as the peg, peg, peg is maintained, then you're, you're good because uh, this crypto fiat pair 100% uh, correlated to the, to the crypto crypto pair. Uh, and of course, you, you, you can set your own, your, your own uh, uh, you know, distribution of, of order amount because, for instance, maybe maybe it doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't work to you for you to hedge uh, uh, very small orders, and you would like handle differently. For instance, maybe 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 you would like to 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 handle manually orders 
that exceed a certain amount. Um, that's uh, that's how uh, risk hedging does, and uh, um, it may be in uh, th this risk hedging. It applies both to the exchange platforms based on an on a matching engine, and it applies to the brokerage platform. And as far as the brokerage platform goes, the liquidity what what liquidity hub can do for you is that um, you can connect to liquidity uh, hub as a taker get the price fee to your brokerage platform then uh then the uh user order comes you can you can place it for execution on liquidity provider via the 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 liquidity hub and get the report with the uh, uh execution parameters to uh provide it to your to your trader and in such a condition this this it, it actually it's <clears throat> it's um it's an execution um, on liquidity power. Therefore, in such an event, the 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 uh, uh, brokerage platform does not take market risk on itself because the it, this is a pre-execution. The execution happens on the liquidity providers, and the trader is apprised uh, to the results. Okay, so what we uh, this is a as, as I said, there, there are distinction and. The liquidity hub uh, serves different part, uh, different types of uh, <clears throat> um, trading platform. Okay, so that's how hedging goes, and um, this uh, here I would like you to 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 you know to to show you how <clears throat> a certain hedging policy can be can be implemented. For uh, uh, first that you are uh, trading those uh, the, you are hedging those transactions automatically you can uh, hedge the um, trades of your user uh, with a spot on you can or you can hedge it with perpetual futures for instance if uh, uh, someone trades in spot on your on your trading platform you can go ahead and hedge it with perpetual future because it may because um, you are you are certain about your uh, uh, margin requirements, and uh, it's it may be cheaper for you to uh, hedge a spot with the um, uh, derivative, derivative, and it allows you to enforce your hedging policy because you can uh, assign uh, different user uh, uh, profiles to different uh, configuration using pair account configuration and you can maintain hedging ratio for trading instruments and for uh, individual users or user groups and therefore and that's uh, that's how you can actually implement your your uh, hedging policy and uh, effectively manage your um, market risk automatically and do it via a web UI. Um, so you can connect uh, liquidity providers to your platform via web UI, or you could uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, assign those hedging parameters to different, to different um, users. And uh, um, <clears throat> So what's what's uh, um, what sort of technology we, we use in order to uh, connect those those liquidity providers to 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 uh, takers? Um, there is a lot of a lot of uh, uh, different APIs. It, mainly, it's a fixed protocol, WebSocket. Sometimes it it's REST API. And the 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 um, thing is that. It is maintained and developed uh, without your your involvement. So you can uh, rest assured that every liquidity provider is connected to the um, uh, to your to your liquidity hub, and you get your liquidity. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, there is an ecosystem 
uh, I'd like to mention that there is an ecosystem, uh, you know, around the the the, the liquidity hub. Um, um, you can go ahead and and visit the Beetle Broker website and um, um, see what sort of what sort of uh, external liquidity providers supported by uh, Marksman. Uh, and um, uh, right now we have a, a, a B2BX exchange as an ecosystem partner, and we are hoping to attract some other um, exchanges that uh, provide great liquidity as an ecosystem partner um because actually the 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 traffic within the ecosystem it's uh it's uh, free of volume charge you can uh, connect as a client exchange and get this liquidity from it from the ecosystem partners uh um absolutely uh, uh, free of charge and uh the uh volume charges are only applied for hedging and uh, what implied for hedging on on external liquidity providers so uh, it's uh, you know it's uh, it, it, it's great because you can you can uh, serve as an ecosystem partner and provide liquidity for a certain set of inst of trading instruments and um, on the other hand you can uh, um, trade on your platform with some other set of training instruments and and provide the um the liquidity for uh those instruments that maybe may, maybe not as as uh widely spread as as uh, some other to, uh, to to the ecosystem and uh uh other takers can find it useful and and use it uh, uh to uh increase the uh, user experience um that's that's what i that's what i would like to mention that um uh, actually uh we have uh, uh fees and prices on the website and you can uh, you can you can peruse it, uh, um, at your leisure but what i would like to say is that a uh, basic package that includes ecosystem liquidity it's um basically uh it, it does it does have a monthly charge <clears throat> for for infrastructure but it's uh it's actually cheap in my opinion okay um then you go advanced and you would like to um supplement your ecosystem liquidity with the liquidity from some external liquidity providers then you go to the advanced uh, uh package and um, as i mentioned the uh there is volume charge that applies to the hedging on external uh, on, on external liquidity providers and uh, there is an enterprise uh um, package that includes uh synthetic sanction and um uh you know choice of external liquidity providers because we support quite a lot of them And uh, uh, the, the next is, uh, I'd like to talk a bit about Marksman uh, uh, technology stack, about our technology stack. First of all, Marksman is a uh, um, software as a service. Actually, um, it's a platform as a service, but still, uh, but, but since we provide uh, some data with it, then it's a um, software as a service. However, uh we don't have to provide you you with data because um you you can use our uh, fixed api in order to connect uh whatever maker that that you would like to get the liquidity and uh, and uh, therefore marks will serve as, as as a pass as a platform as a service and you will be ones to providing the data it's cloud native it has an uh, fix API that you can you can uh, get the documents uh, via this uh, QR code and um, um, actually um, our, our our technology stack is is built around the uh, Go uh, programming language and um, we've developed a library for uh, implementing a fixed protocol so uh, you're gonna go ahead and 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 um, 
you know, look at look, look it up at the um, <clears throat> at the GitHub, and maybe it will be useful for your for your integration perf uh, integration uh, uh, purposes. Um, well, I think that um, it's uh, we, we've, we've arrived at the end of the presentation, and uh, I would like to thank you. And uh, uh, we have a bit of time to. Uh, Q and A session. So I'll just so please go ahead and uh, and uh, and type in your question in the chat room. <clears throat> so uh, Yuki uh, Sego is asking: Is Liquidity Hub a cost-effective way for broker? Uh, well, I, I I certainly think so because um, as a broker you can um, connect your platform through the liquidity hub via fixed api okay we have provided fixed api it'll it'll take you a bit of development but on the other hand you can uh use it uh, you know to 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 get the liquidity and and execute trades uh via liquidity hub on whatever um liquidity providers currently support it and um yeah um Vasiliki uh, asked that uh, so liquidity hub connects uh, maker and taker. Yes, indeed, that's what liquidity hub does. It connects maker to get the uh, level two quotes or order book, uh, feed um, those prices to the taker via via, via taker connection, and. Uh, um, the other way around, uh, taker places orders, and those orders are being executed via Liquidity Hub. Yeah, okay. Eddie Blues asks, bit confused about risk hedging. Is it for B book or A book? All right, so actually A, a book, a B book is a, is, is a uh, type of user profile. So you, you can assign users to A book, and uh, you can go ahead and hedge uh, the trades of those users uh, with 100% uh, uh, hedge ratio. And uh, this way it will be uh, similar to the uh, straight through processing, STP, okay? And uh, BBOOK, you can maintain BBOOK with uh, certain users that belong to this BBOOK. And uh, it means that you'll be internalizing uh, the market risk yourself, and uh, those users that belong to your BBOOK, you know, you'll just be warehousing uh, the, the the prices. Um, there is uh, also some other opportunities. You can you can devise your own uh, risk uh, management profile uh, and and uh, uh, head, hedge some of the trades. You can. Hedge twenty percent of the trades, or hedge, I mean, the, 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 by by volume, okay. So, um, or fifty percent, uh, or hedge all trades with fifty percent hedge ratio. Therefore, it will be some some other sort of of, of uh, uh, hedging strategy, and not purely a book or b book. I hope Eddie Blues that I've answered your question, but yeah, you can. Either internalize, internalize of the, all the risk or hedge all the trades of the user automatically uh, by 100%. And that's way um, you'll be able to, uh, you know, maintain the A book uh, hedging policy. So Aaron Thomas is asking what's the difference between crypto liquidity and Forex liquidity? Well, that's a huge question. That's a huge question, <laughs> and the list of and the list of the answer is that actually uh, crypto liquidity it 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 um, in most cases it's uh, spot liquidity. Okay, so it's just uh, you know your your exchanging spot uh, your exchanging spot assets and uh, forex liquidity it's a it's it's a marginal trade. It's uh, so. Um, you you have to you have to <clears throat> uh, provide margin to your trades in order to trade forex because 
it, it actually doesn't make any sense to, to trade uh, a spot unless you're a um, multinational corporation. Um, all right, so the, the, the second question, question is, are they from the same liquidity providers? I mean, uh, yeah. Um, uh, assets, they are traded. I mean, uh, you've seen the price discovery slide and uh, it means that asset has a price. It has a price on the market. And actually it doesn't matter if you're exchanging the same asset on a uh, margin trading platform such as Forex or you're exchanging uh, as a spot, the, the same asset. The same asset in an efficient market has to have uh, the same price. Therefore, doesn't matter. You can, you can exchange spot assets in your uh, OTC dealing desk and get the same price as on the uh, Forex trading platform. All right. And um, um, Kim Kate said that since fixed API is very important, should we develop it by ourselves? We don't have an IT team. So, uh, yeah, um, this goes like this. Um, uh, I did mention the, the adapters that we write for major liquidity providers such as uh, exchange, crypto exchanges and, and, and other uh, liquidity hubs. Uh, so, um, you can, you can, uh, that that's that's actually that's actually the better part of, of of a liquidity hub because you actually don't have to develop anything because the liquidity is already provided for the supported uh you know for the supported platforms you can go ahead and and look up uh, at the website what sort of platform are supported whatever you know adapters uh we have already developed and w w what you can you can um, you know implement in, in your platform but you have to have you have to be a supported platform such as uh, such as Bitraders or or some other liquidity uh, liquidity hubs that I've uh, <clears throat> that I've shown on the on on the uh, slide. And um, if you if you're running your own platform, then um, you have to have some cap uh, you know uh, dev capability in order to implement uh, fixed API and uh, get. Uh, the liquidity via, via, via fixed protocol. Um, if you don't have um, an, a, a, the IT team there, it means that you should just uh, pick a supported platform and use whatever is already developed and, uh, you know, uh, bug us with uh, some requests and we'll, be, we'll, we'll, we'll try to accommodate and, and develop uh, um some um adapters if uh, uh clients request it but it's uh it's not an easy uh, uh task and uh it takes quite a lot of resources to develop and maintain um integration with the all uh, liquidity providers all right um thank you very much if uh, there are there are no further questions then uh, um Let's uh, part ways, and I would like to thank you again for joining me. And I hope that uh, this presentation uh, has been useful, and uh, you, you may, uh, you know, get some ideas how to own and completely dominate your liquidity, and how to hedge market risks like a boss. And uh, I welcome you to try out the uh, Marksman Liquidity Hub. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Bye-bye.